In this video, you are going to learn all the fundamentals of data analysis and we will break this down into four main areas. First, we are going to be looking at transforming the data. Secondly, we are going to be looking at creating descriptive statics to better understand the data. Thirdly, we are going to be looking at data analysis. And finally, we will get into creating a report to visualize our findings. This is the Excel file that we will be working with. You can see the type of product here. And the first step is simply to clean this up. But for that, we are going to go to Control T to change this data into a table. Then we will head on OK. For the cleanup part, you can see that under the customer column, we seem to have some very odd spacing here. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Here we are going to write equals and write trim. This is to remove these odd spaces and now select this column and press enter. This will now remove these spaces and make a new column. We have to paste this as a value. For that, select this column, control shift down and copy this. Press control C. The shortcut to convert this as a value is alt h v v. Now that means that we can go ahead and remove this column by pressing control minus. Then under cost, you might notice that we have caught some decimal which don't make too much sense. So for this, we are basically going to have to round up to a full number. For that, we are going to use the roundup formula. So right equals roundup, left parenthesis and select the first number. The number is this one. And the number of digit for us is going to be zero because we want the full number. Close those brackets and hit enter. Write cost here and this will be our cost now. Okay, so now we basically want to press Ctrl, Shift down, Ctrl C and then paste it as a value. There you go. Then you will notice that under city here, we have the city names, but we don't have the countries. That would be a nice thing to add. For this, we can actually head over to the data tab and go under data types. You will find geography here. Once you start to see that icon, it means that it's loaded up. What you want to do here is hit over to this icon to the side under add column and we basically want to add a country or a region associated with that city and here select country and region and now drag this down and uh, you can see that we have the corresponding country for each city that's amazing one final thing we haven't done is test if there's any duplicates so for this we can simply go under data again and we are just going to remove duplicates by going to this icon over here so we will click on that and it's going to be for that whole table and we will simply hit on OK. And now you can see here that we get a notification saying that no duplicated values found. But if Excel found duplicates, they would have been removed. Great. Now that we have done step one and now moving on to the step two, it's all about the descriptive statics. So really seeing things like what's the average price? What about the minimum, the maximum and so on? For this, let's hop over to the side and you could try to find for the price and for the quantity. Say the average going one by one. So type the average formula, then going the same thing with the minimum, the maximum and so on. But there's a much faster way. And that's actually using a tool called data analysis. I have activated that tool here. If you haven't activated that, don't worry. You can go ahead and activate it. So all you have to do is head over to file, go over to the bottom where it says options from here we are gonna go into add-ins and we want to click on the analysis tool pack here and hit on go from here we want to select analysis tool pack like i said and we will hit ok now you will get this data analysis option here so that's the one that we want to select from here we want the descriptive statics and we will hit on ok there and the input range is going to be all of our cost so we will go control shift down there and then we want it to be a summary statics. So where do we want this? Let's say we want an output range, which is going to be over here. So right next to the table, let's say we put it here to the side and we are just going to hit on OK. And now you can see that for the price, which is what we have selected, we have gotten everything from the mean, the median, mode, minimum, maximum, sum and a bunch of other useful information. Let me repeat the same process for the quantity. Awesome. Now we have caught the breakdown by price and by quantity as well. But one thing that this doesn't quite account for is the fact that there could be outliers in our price. So for that, we can go ahead down over here. We are going to basically create a new chart, which is going to be a box and whisker. So let's first select this cost column and press control shift down and down over here. We are going to find this icon. Click on that and we want a box and whisker. 
basically this one over here and don't worry if you can't interrupt it will look at it just in a second so once we have it in here this is basically telling us a few different things so first these top and bottom lines are telling us the maximums so the max and the minimum if you will then in here this box represent the first and the third and then you can see that we have got that x which is the average then we have got a line which is going to be the median now if you want to dig a bit further into this it would be nice to see the x-axis maybe we can put something like the customer's name to see where exactly this is coming from we will go to right click for that go under select data edit the horizontal category access label here what we are going to do is put the customer so we are going to select all of these by pressing ctrl shift down and hit on ok hit on ok again now if we go all the way back up and you can see that breakdown looks like by customers okay now moving on to the next step which is data analysis so over here you can see that we have got three different questions that we want to solve which is what is our best selling product what is our total revenue and what's our revenue breakdown by payment method so if we go back to the table here you notice that we don't actually have a column for revenue so that's the one uh, that we are going to have to calculate simply by multiplying the price and the quantity so we will do that over here let me add an extra column there and let's call this something like revenue and the formula for it is going to be equals the quantity multiplied by the price and we will just hit enter there that should be calculated for us and then we will go up over here again and for all of this data analysis we can actually do most of it with a pivot table so we will head over to insert pivot table the table or range we are interested in is all of this range so once we select one of the cell we can just go to control a that's going to select all of them and we want this in a location in an existing worksheet which we already selected so we will hit ok great from here we can start doing all the breakdown so what's our best selling product let's do this by quantity we are going to select the product as the raws just hover that over and then we are going to check the quantity over here as the values great now we have all of that breakdown if, if we want to sort it from highest to lowest we can go to right click and go to sort and we will sort largest to smallest then secondly we have got what is our total revenue for this one we are simply going to have to select the revenue first we will remove this let's take this out and we will take this out as well and we just have to select the revenue and uh, put it in under values that should give us the sum of total revenue and finally our revenue breakdown by payment method so for that we are gonna get all of the payment methods and uh, put those under the rows to see the breakdown better it probably make more sense as a percentage so what we can actually do is go to right click here and uh, from here go to show value as and we are going to show them as a percentage of the grand total now you can see that full breakdown well all right that was it for today's video you have learned a lot of good things to analyze your data in excel subscribe to our channel for more excel tutorials and thanks for watching this video i'll see you next time